Howdy, it's Kyle with a video ranking the 50 state capitals. When I say capital, I'm talking with an OL at the end, so the buildings, not the city itself. A state capital is the most prominent physical symbol of your entire state. It should be something that people from that state walk by or drive by and are proud of it. To see something as a nice symbol of their state, but is also aesthetically pleasing. I've personally visited 40 of the 50 state capitals, and I hope to someday visit all of them. But whenever you do a ranking video, of course, it's going to be all opinions and an eye of the beholder. So think of this video more like an overview of the 50 state capitals just presented in my personal favorite order. I'm going to start the state ranking with the worst capital in the country, and that's Alaska. This looks like just a regular old bank building in a downtown. And I get that Alaska is a lightly populated state and Juneau is a pretty small town for a capital. But at the same time, this cannot be your state capital. This cannot be the building that represents your state. And Alaska might move its capital to Anchorage, which would make a lot of sense for them. But for right now, this is the state capital and it's the worst one in the country. Nevada's is the first of many where the building itself is nice, it's nice architecture, it just isn't a good building for your state capital. It just isn't prominent enough, and it doesn't have to be large, but at the same time it does have to be a little more prominent than this. And I do like the Silver Dome, Nevada's a silver state, but overall this cannot be your state capital, it looks more like a library. The first time I saw Virginia's, I was like, wow, that's a really nice governor's mansion. What? That's the state capital? The building behind it would be a better state capital. Virginia is far too important of a state from a population perspective and from a historical perspective for a building like this to be the state capital. It looks more like a plantation house. New Jersey's is like a haphazard mishmash of different architectural styles. It doesn't really look good together. And it's hard to get a good picture of it too because the dome is set way back. It's hit to be pretty far back from the building. And it just looks weird with all these wings that don't quite fit together. So it's kind of a mess, but it's also pretty fitting for New Jersey. Florida is another one that I just really don't like. It's got this building in the front that looks kind of like a plantation house. And then this stupid looking office tower behind it. It just doesn't look right. And the official pictures of it always show it from a close-up angle to where you can't see how stupid the high-rise behind it looks. And there's nothing inherently wrong with a high-rise capital, but the one for Florida is really ugly. It just doesn't look right as a state capital. Tennessee, where I live, has another capital that doesn't look quite right. It's almost like they were in the process of building it but didn't finish. Or maybe its arms were chopped off. That dome thing on top doesn't look quite right with the building. And overall, this isn't a very good building to represent a big state like Tennessee. North Carolina is another one where it looks like it would be a different type of building. It looks more like a Supreme Court building. And you can't even see the dome from ground level. And it just doesn't look quite right as a state capital. It's a small building for a big state and it just doesn't really represent the state very well. Ohio's capital looks more like a city hall and that rotunda thing on top looks like it wasn't finished. Within the setting of downtown Columbus, it just doesn't look quite right. And it doesn't have to be a huge building because a lot of these buildings were built before these states were heavily populated, but this still doesn't look quite right for a state capital. And it, nowadays that Ohio is a huge state, it definitely looks very underwhelming. You see organs and you're like, what the hell is this stupid looking thing? It looks like the building that would be the headquarters of a cult, like the Scientology building or something. It just is a weird building for a state capital. And yeah, Oregon's a pretty weird state. And I do kind of like the architecture of this building. It's just a terrible building for a state capital. North Dakota has probably the saddest state capital in the country in that the original one burned down during the Great Depression. And during that time, the state didn't have the money to build a nice new one, so they went kind of cheap. We'll just build some kind of normal looking office tower that's pretty ugly. But I wish they would have had the foresight to know that this will be the building that represents your state for eternity. So go ahead and spend the money, even if it's during the Great Depression, find a way to build something nicer than this because now they're stuck with this ugly office tower forever. In my opinion, Michigan has the ugliest state capital with the traditional style dome. The dome itself looks like it went through a vice grip and is being squeezed, and it doesn't match the building. It looks like the building itself went through a dust storm, but they didn't power wash it afterward. Then they added this dome that doesn't match it to the top. The facade looks like an old Cold War style building. So overall, this thing just doesn't look right, and it's pretty ugly. Oklahoma's building itself isn't that bad, but what makes it low on this list is that there's a working oil derrick on the state house grounds with a Phillips 66 corporate logo on it. You can't have one iota of integrity, Oklahoma, and it doesn't hurt it on this list, but it is interesting to note that it's one of only two state capitol buildings that isn't downtown, so it's a couple of miles away from downtown Oklahoma City. But yeah, Oklahoma, keeping it classy. 
Arizona's is an interesting building, but I don't think it's a good state capital. And the additional buildings off of the side just look like ugly Cold War style buildings. And I don't think it looks Southwest enough to be the state capital for a state like Arizona. So, you know, again, interesting building, just not a good state capital. Louisiana's is the third of four high rise state capitals. And it looks okay. It looks kind of like the Empire State Building style architecture. But I wish they would have done something more like their original state capital, which was kind of French style architecture. And that would have looked really good for Louisiana being with its French heritage and also, you know, this building looks like a pretty cool downtown office complex building, but not a great state capital. I'm not knocking Delaware's because of its size. It's a small state. It doesn't need to have a giant state capital, but this particular building doesn't look like it would be a state capital. It looks more like the oldest building on a university campus. So, you know, nice enough looking building, just not a good state capital. Hawaii's is probably one of the most polarizing of the capitals, but it's not a very traditional looking building, but Hawaii is a very unique state, so it shouldn't have a traditional looking capital building. But a lot of folks would say it looks kind of ugly, but I think it looks a lot better when you look at it within the context of downtown Honolulu. It really stands out and it does look like it would be the state capital for a unique state like Hawaii. So I think it's okay, but not one of the best in the country. Along those same lines, New Mexico has a very unique style capital and it's very polarizing as well. From the grounds level, you can't really see the historical significance of it. From the air, you can see it's shaped like the symbol of the sun of the indigenous groups of the state. And a traditional style capital building would look really weird in downtown Santa Fe. So I think it's an okay capital and it works for a state like New Mexico, but it still isn't one of the best in the country. Beginning with Alabama, we're starting to get into the more traditional style capital buildings with neoclassical architecture and the dome on top. And I do like the bright whiteness of it, but that clock reminds me of Back to the Future. I don't think it's a very good look for a state capital. And overall, the building itself is pretty nice, but not one of the best neoclassical architecture ones. The small size of New Hampshire's capital works well for a small state. And from this point forward, I like all the capital buildings, so I'm going to be nitpicking here. The thing I don't like about this one is that the dome doesn't quite work right with the rest of the building. And I very much like contrasting color between the dome and the building, but this one looks like it wasn't trying to be contrasting. It's just the two different parts of the building didn't fade at the same rate. So I think it's an okay building. It's just not one of my absolute favorites. Maryland is another one where the building looks like it might be something other than the state capital. And I've ranked other states low because of that, but the reason why I'm not ranking Maryland low is because it's the oldest state capital still in use. Most of the other states built a brand new state capital at some point because the state got a lot larger with population. They needed more size, needed to expand and built a brand new building. Maryland said, screw that, we're keeping the old one. And it looks really good within the very historic downtown Annapolis. So it is probably the best one that doesn't look like a state capital. Massachusetts is one that looks really unique and I like the look of it, but I don't really like the wings that were added to it. It doesn't really match that well. It matches better than say the stuff that was added to New Jersey's, which just looks like a drunk person put all that stuff together. So it looks better than that. I like the gold dome on top, but overall this building isn't one of my absolute favorites. Georgia has another very classy stately look to it. It's clearly the state capital, but the nitpick for here is that the state capital grounds are tiny. A little old lady can throw a football from the front steps of the capital onto the busy street in front of it. So to get a picture of it, you have to be in the road. And the way I had to do it was on a Sunday when no one's around to get a picture of the building from far back. So the grounds itself don't really work. The building is okay. But again, I'm at the point in the video where I'm nitpicking here. Maine is another one that plays it safe with traditional neoclassical architecture with a big dome on top, and it looks nice. The only issue I have with it is that the dome doesn't quite work well with the building. It's a little bit off, and kind of like its neighbor to the west, New Hampshire, the contrast isn't enough to look good. It looks like it's not trying to be contrasting, it's just they didn't fade at the same rate. So overall, good looking building, but not one of the best. Washington has that traditional style capital building, and I do like it. I think it looks very good, but nitpicking here, it looks kind of like a Supreme Court building with a giant dome on top, and it also looks kind of dirty, like it needs to be power washed or something. So it is a classy looking stately building, and it's obviously a state capital building, but overall, it's still not one of the best. Idaho has a nice stately looking building, but just like Michigan, it looks like it went through a dust storm and they didn't clean it off afterward. And a lot of states can pull that look off where it's a brown or tan tinge to it. But for Idaho, it doesn't look like it was meant to be that way. It just looks dirty.
Size-wise, Montana's capital is pretty fitting for a state with its population. It does follow that same traditional architectural style, but the dome on top is pretty unique. And this is the kind of contrast I like between the dome and the regular part of the building. So some of those other states, the dome didn't quite look contrasting enough, but this one does have a pretty good contrast. And out in front of the state house in Montana, it's really cool because they do different types of landscaping each year, a special different design depending on the year it is. So overall, I think Montana's state capital is pretty cool looking. South Carolina is another one where the Capitol building is of that traditional architectural style, but kind of like Montana, it has a really unique looking dome that provides a nice contrast with the rest of the building. The building itself isn't spectacular. It's a nice looking building and the grounds are very nice, but I think, again, the contrast of that dome and the building makes it look really good. And with South Carolina being one of the smallest Southern states, it's appropriate that the state Capitol building itself isn't terribly large. Vermont is a perfect example of how a state Capitol can be perfect for a state. Vermont's a cute little state, and this capital is a cute little building. And unlike some of the other small states like Delaware, you can't really tell that's the state capital. It's just a small building. This one is clearly the state capital for Vermont and is very fitting for a state of its size. The next five are all very, very similar to each other, so I'm going to be doing some serious nitpicking here. But of those five, I'm going to rank Rhode Island the lowest, even though it's a very nice building, very classy, although it is kind of a large building because it's a tiny state. But... What makes this one not quite as nice as the four right in front of it is that the grounds themselves are not that nice. It's basically just parking lot and streets, but not really any nice landscaping to make the building look as nice as it really should. Kentucky's gets a little bit of a nod over Rhode Island and that the grounds are a little bit nicer, even though the building is pretty similar. It's monochromatic white, pretty similar dome, traditional architectural style, but it shows that the grounds can make a building look a little bit better, even though the building itself is kind of the same. The third of the five that look very similar to each other is Arkansas. But I'm going to give Arkansas a little bit of a nod over the two behind it and that it sits on a high hill overlooking downtown. I think it's a pretty good look for a Capitol building like the man looking down on the peons of downtown. But, you know, seriously, I do think it looks a little bit classier when the Capitol building is high up on a hill. It just makes the whole town look a little bit classier because you know you're in the state Capitol. Missouri is the next of these group of five that all look very similar to each other, but I think Missouri's look slightly more stately, maybe slightly classier. It's kind of hard to put into words, but I think it just looks a little tiny bit nicer. The setting along the river is pretty nice, but it's really hard to decide between these five that all look very similar, but it is all five look very good, and Missouri is one of them. And the last of the five that look very similar to each other is Mississippi. And I'm going to rank Mississippi just slightly higher than the other four because I like the grounds a little bit more. You have more trees and that slightly wooded type aspect to it. I like the gold eagle on top of the dome. So when you're trying to decide between five very similar looking state capitals, you have to pick something very small details. And I do like the little bit wooded area and I like the gold eagle on top. After seeing five in a row that all look very similar, one like Wyoming's will really start to stand out. So if you take a general overview of the state capitals, so many of them are just a building with a dome on top, but all have the same architectural style. But you can see how you can do things a little bit differently. So the five in front of it all look very nice, although they're not terribly unique from each other. Wyoming's is a little bit more unique, and it's a relatively small size, which is fitting for the least populated state in the country. Indiana's has a very grand look to it. I like the contrast between the roof color and the dome with the building itself. And I like how it has a little bit of a horizontal definition to it. It isn't quite a flat front to it. Just a couple of unique touches that makes it look a little bit nicer than the ones behind it. Colorado's is another example of a building that has the same typical architectural style with a dome on top, but a few details makes it look a little bit nicer. I like the gold dome, the setting of it with the grounds in front. It sits right across the plaza from the very stately looking Denver City Hall. So it's just a pretty cool look with all the government stuff right there, but overall a real nice looking state capital. Kansas is another one that has a pretty traditional looking architectural design, but that dome makes it look so much nicer. It's kind of disproportionate in size, but in a good way. The contrast is nice. The state house grounds are nice. So overall, Kansas, really classy looking state capital, and we're getting to some of the best ones in the country here. I don't know exactly what it is about South Dakota that makes me like it so much, but I just think it looks really cool. And when my wife and I were there, we were both like, wow, this is one of the coolest looking state capitals in the country. But I still, I don't know exactly why. I'm not sure if it's the contrast of the dark dome with the white building or the fact that it's in a really cute little town like Pier. It's such a small little town with a nice looking state capital. So overall, I think it's one of the best ones in the country. You might be surprised to see me rank Nebraska so high as it's just a high rise, but Unlike Florida's and North Dakota's that are just ugly high rises or Louisiana's that this looks like a regular kind of high rise. This is clearly not a regular kind of high rise. It looks a lot different. It looks very grand and stately. 
And to me, it looks clearly like a state capital, even though it has a very, very unique look to it. So I really like Nebraska's, even though most people don't. Utah's is another one that's a very grand looking stately capital building. And kind of like Arkansas, it sits on a high hill that overlooks downtown Salt Lake City, which is a pretty cool look. But if you live in California, you might be thinking, wait a minute, that's our capital building. That looks exactly like ours, and it really kind of does. But overall, it still is a very nice looking capital. Leading off the top 10 is Wisconsin. And when you first look at it, it looks pretty similar to those five that all look alike. But what makes Wisconsin a lot different is the fact that it has kind of a 3D feel to it where it's got an X kind of layout to it. I think it looks really good, especially when you see it from an aerial photograph. But just that little unique detail makes it one of the nicer ones. It makes it stand out from the five that look very similar to it from a straight up architectural standpoint. Texas, as you'd expect, has a huge grand looking state capital. Looks very nice in that traditional architectural style, but it also has that kind of dusty, dirty look to it that I don't really like too much. And the dome doesn't quite match the building, so it doesn't quite have the good contrast. But why I have Texas ranked so high is that Every capital has an underground part to it, whether it be a bomb shelter or escape room for the governor kind of thing. But Texas's underground is out in the open and it looks very nice. And the architecture was done with the underground part as well. So that's a pretty cool aspect and it's very unique in that way. No other state has an exposed underground like Texas does. Illinois is another one that kind of like Kansas has a very disproportionately sized dome from the rest of the building, but I think it looks really good. And I like the unique look to this building. Although it does have a not quite matching dome from the rest of the building, but overall I think it has a very unique look that I like a lot. Whenever I do a ranking of something and I have California ranked high, I almost feel guilty because I'm from there and it's going to be perceived as biased. But I do think this is one of the best looking capitals. I like the bright white, how it contrasts with the dome. It's very ornate and grand as you'd expect from a huge state. It's a huge building. And also surprisingly enough, it's the most wooded state house grounds in the country. It's just surrounded by trees, which makes it look really nice and puts a really nice building in a nice setting. At first glance, West Virginia looks pretty similar to other states in the country. Traditional architectural style with a dome, but man, that dome is gorgeous. It's the most beautiful dome of all the capitals that has a dome. And just like Oklahoma City, the building isn't downtown, but that hurts Oklahoma because two miles from downtown Oklahoma City is flat and brown and bland. Two miles from downtown Charleston is gorgeous and wooded right along the river, so it's a really nice setting for a nice building, and yeah, it's all about that dome. New York's is obviously a very different architectural style than the rest. It's the same style as the Parliament Building in Ottawa, Canada. So it's very stately, very grand looking, but it's obviously a state capital building. It's obviously a government building for a very powerful state. So I really like the look of it. Really unique, really cool looking. Minnesota shows how you can do that traditional style building, but make it look so much nicer. That marbled look looks so cool. The goals in front of it constantly nice. It just has a really nice setting right downtown St. Paul. So it just does that style a lot better than almost any other state. Gorgeous Capitol building. Pennsylvania has a look to it that just makes it look powerful. And it's a powerful state, but it just looks like the Capitol building of a country. It just There's something about it that just makes it look a little more big time than most of the other states. And it is an absolutely gorgeous building with a beautiful dome that contrasts with the rest of the building. The grounds are very nice. So yeah, definitely overall, this is one of the best ones in the country. Iowa shows how you can do kind of a dirty, dusty look, but make it look really, really nice. I love the way the multiple domes look, nice contrast with the rest of the building. And just like Arkansas and Utah, it sits on a high hill that overlooks downtown. So it just has a really nice setting, a gorgeous building. I think it's the most beautiful building of the traditional architectural style. And now for what I feel is the best state capital in the entire country, and that's Connecticut. You can't possibly look at this building and tell me it's not badass. The architecture is gorgeous. It's very unique. There's nothing else like it in the entire U.S., but it's also clearly a government building. It's clearly the state capital for Connecticut. It's just done with a very unique style, a unique take on it, and perhaps a little bit classier than some of the other state capitals. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the most beautiful state capital in the entire country. So that's my ranking of the 50 state capitals. And like I was saying at the beginning of the video, it's just my opinion. So I'm sure there'll be people that disagree with some of my choices here, but I just wanted to kind of give an overview of the state capitals, what they look like, but present them in my personal favorite order. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve. And if you're interested in stuff about U.S. travel, cross-country road tripping, some countdown and rankings kind of stuff about U.S. geography, then subscribe to this channel. That's the kind of stuff that I'm posting. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out.